as you're aware, the keyboard starts low on the left hand side and becomes higher and higher and higher and higher and higher to it reaches the right hand side. And it's continuous spectrum, a chromatic scale as it's called, the full colour of sound from one end to the other, including these black notes as well. If you were to uh, view the keyboard differently, you might see it as a just a plain spectrum going from one end to the other without the breakup of the black notes. Now let me explain what I mean by that. Suppose the keyboard looked like this rather than like that. Now what I've got written onto this sheet of paper is the C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, so on and so forth, with the black notes intervening between the white notes. So you, you know, for example, that that note there is either a G flat or an F sharp. Okay, so you're asking yourselves, well, what the hell use is that to me? Well, if you were wanting to change key, for example, go from C to F, for argument's sake, could you work it out? Would you know how to begin doing that? Well, I have a very simple device here that allows you to do it. Now, all I've done is I've put a, the same sort of pattern onto a card, which is going to slip inside that piece of paper. So, well, let's say we've written a song in a key of C and we want to play it in the key of E. So I've moved the C on the card opposite E here. So the second note in the scale would be that black note between the F and G, so F sharp or G flat, whatever you ever call it. Um, next one would be G sharp there. Then F would become an A. The G equivalent in the E scale would be B. A would be C sharp. B is hard to see my little thing there. Move it round a bit, touch. It's lined up with that black note there, which is E flat or D sharp. Well, I hear you say, how does this work for the minor? And I've got a card here which has the minor scale, which consists of C minor. So it's C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, and B flat. So that's the C minor scale. And similarly, if we slot it in, and we wanted to change that to E minor scale, you would very simply and easily do that. So, there we go. So, there would be the notes that you would play C. would be E, D would be F sharp, E flat would be G, and so on so far in that scale. And additionally, of course, we've got the, the chords as well, because the minor pattern is different from the major pattern. So the first is a minor, the second D is diminished, the third is a major, E flat. The fourth is a minor, it's F. Fifth minor, G. That's G minor. And then we've got A flat and B flat as majors for the last two chords and the, the sequence. Well, it sounds rather complicated. Um, so there's an easier way to do it on most keyboards. We're going from C based uh, scale to 
E major scale. So C major to C E major. So the difference between the two scales will be one, two, three, four semitones. So let's go over to our overall gadget here, which says that transposing is number five. We're now in the transpose menu, and if I add steps, so we're looking for four semitones, one, two, three, four, we should find that that is now an E. So we could play the E major scale using just the white notes which is a nice little cheat.